Hi, welcome to It's My Workshop. We have our first project starting today. Uh, today's just going to be an unboxing and then we'll move into the construction. Uh, but a few weeks ago, my son and I discovered that the local public library had a makerspace in it and they have lots of cool things in there, a laser engraver, an etcher, um, big vinyl sign maker, and a 3D printer, a lot of other stuff too. Uh, but the 3D printer caught our attention, so we wanted to make something, and you call, you sign up for a time, and you get to go and build. And we made a real simple fidget toy to begin with. Uh, it's got four roller skate bearings in here. Uh, not very much plastic, and that's why we chose it. We didn't want to be at the library all day. But it just spins like this, and it's just meant to keep your hands busy. Um, but anyway, once we saw it working, we had to have one. So. After a lot of research, 3D printing is becoming more and more affordable, but most of the printers were still out of the price range I was willing to pay for it. Uh, I did find one, the ANET A8i3, which I believe is a knockoff of the Prusa i3, which is a very nice top of the line 3D printer, uh, but it runs about 800 bucks, if I'm thinking correctly. Um, this one, I think I got for Santa brought to me for a lot less. Uh, you can research because I've seen the prices anywhere between $150 to $200 and then higher depending on who you're buying it from. Uh, lots of different experiences. Maybe I'll link to the forum down below where you can read up on uh, everyone's experiences. Uh, but yeah, we'll get to the unboxing and then we're gonna have to build it because that's part of the reason why it's so inexpensive. There's a ton of parts and you get to put the entire thing together yourself. So let's get to it. So here it is, the box. If you follow along on some of those forums on Facebook, you see this box a lot. Everyone seems to share when it arrives. This is mine. So we're gonna open this up, see what's in here. Uh, this actually came a while ago and it's been hard not to open it until now, but I was good and waited. Um, in the meantime, I have, oh, I have ordered some parts to do some upgrades. Some of them have arrived, some have not. Uh, but I'll tell you about that as we do the builds. But there are a few safety concerns that I wanted to take care of. So, so far this looks exactly like it should. Um, you know what, I'm going to cut down these sides and see if I can slide it out, because that's a pretty tight fit. There's definitely some weight to this box, which tells me there's a lot of stuff in there. Um, and it is a do-it-yourself kind of thing, so like I said earlier down on costs. You're building this yourself. So out comes the white cube. Knock that box out of the way. And there you go. There's a few layers to this. Um, I think I need to keep this for some reason. If there's problems, I think they uh, refer to that number. So let's get this off. We'll be sure to keep that label someplace safe. That's the other problem. If there are issues with the printer, the companies, I went through gear best. They don't have the best reputation of fixing some of the problems. So here we go. Um, the first layer. It looks like we have power cord to the power supply. Uh, oh geez, all little nuts and bolts, a million of them. Here's all the connectors to the motors, go to the main board. Here are the bearings. Now this is one thing, I got some uh, Igus, I believe they're pronounced but they're plastic bearings so I'll be replacing the ones that are in there. That's one thing I did get ahead of time. And then some little parts. Oh there's the 
finger covers that everyone cracks jokes about. More little acrylic parts. The frame is made out of acrylic and it's all covered with this brown tape. And I've been debating whether or not to take the tape off. As you watch the installation videos, there's a, there's a guy that shows you how to put it all together. And he left the tape on and I've noticed that some of the other people did too. But I think I'm going to take mine off. Uh, this is the H frame. It goes this way. If you watch the forums, a lot of people put it upside down because he puts it upside down in the video. So, there's the H-frame. This looks like the heat bed. Yes. This is, oh, we got some instructions how to wire things up. The heat bed, it's made out of aluminum. This is one area of concern. Uh, a lot of people will desolder this and uh, desolder this area here and put and solder the wires directly to the board because it was overheating. More wires to connect, more wires to connect, some tools. It's kind of nice if they put some tools in there for you. I mean, they're pretty junky, but nice. All right, and of course, I already messed it up and it's not gonna fit in there the right way to put the stuff back. Let's put this like this. Is it hitting? Oh, okay. So that pretty much does the first layer. Let's put that off to the side for now. Layer number two. The other thing that I was concerned with were broken frame pieces. And this is a frame piece. So that one looks okay. That one looks okay. Oh, well, that looks like just paper crinkling. So it's okay. But more frame pieces. I'll tell you what, I like, I think I'm weird because I like the look of this paper on the outside of the black acrylic. I like the black acrylic look too, but especially with all the, what's this stuff? With all the dust that my shop creates, it, the, this black stuff's going to get dusty quick. I am going to make an enclosure for it, which will be a future project um, that I will share on YouTube here. But uh, this, I believe, is the spool holder, so it holds the filament. Another piece. So, so far, so good. I haven't jinxed myself talking about it. It looks like my frame pieces are pretty much intact. Which is good. Because I did not want to have to go through that hassle of contact, trying to contact the company. So, I'll put these guys back in here. That's good. Alright, we got some track. A belt. Uh, that moves the printer heads and the bed back and forth. Here is the micro SD. This has all the files on it, uh, how to put it together and some software. This connects it to a computer. I'm going to do Octoprint with a Raspberry Pi. Um, I'll maybe make a video on that too. A little fan. A couple fans to cool things off. It's amazing how much the heat has an effect on the print because you're melting, you're basically melting plastic and then letting it cool off again to make these products. So you gotta really balance the heat. Oh, I see. These are, I'm finding all these little pieces of acrylic, but it's just the cutout pieces. Oh, I got it. This is the main board, and all right, this is my concern. It looks like I got the old board. Okay. And you can see these guys. This is the old setup. And that's where you put some of the more powerful components hook into there to get power uh, to the bed and to other things. And those are the parts that seem to be failing. Now I did get replacements for these, uh, 20 amps. Uh, and I also ordered, a, I think it's pronounced a MOSFET. It got lost somewhere in the mail and I had to order another one and it hasn't come yet, but 
I do have some things to try and take care of that concern um, because there's been plenty of cases where it got heated up to the point where it got scary. This is the screen and the buttons. I don't really want to take that out because I don't want it to scratch. Good. So that's that layer. Done. And then here's our final layer. This looks like the fun stuff. So we got the rods. A bunch of them in here. We'll see if they're actually flat. I'm not going to test them out here now. Some others. So this helps the machine. If you've never seen a 3D printer, things go up and down and things come forward and back to help make the prints. These are acrylic pieces. More frame pieces. It looks like all this is frame pieces. Here you can see part of the pieces come off and you can see the black acrylic under there. So it's a nice shiny black now. We'll see how long it stays that black in my shop. This is cable wrap. So that's another thing that you really have to keep an eye out. There are certain points on the printer that you have to make sure that uh, you have good cable management so that things don't pull out or get stressed and cause issues. What do we have here? Oh, that's the front end. That's the head. Print head. Looks like everything's in there. I thought I had to put that all together. There's a little nozzle actually prints from. We got stepper motors. Everything's labeled nice. I don't know if I can get any out. They're packed in there pretty tight. There's one. So, nice little stepper motor connections. Like I said, it's labeled. And they're all the same thing. They got, these have the little rotors. Oh man, that's in there tight. There we go. Oh my gosh, you go on the forums, you'll see people argue about these things, how far this is supposed to go in here. Everyone says it only goes in five millimeters and, and the top one's only supposed to come in five millimeters. And then, you know, if you show pictures of it and it's not sticking out far enough or the, the, bar the rod that comes out of here doesn't go up in a certain hole people get all worked up about it it's pretty funny blow mower here's the little nozzle that cools things off this is one of the first things it seems people tend to replace they build a better one of this these are some of the things that just hold pieces in line help the print head move where it's supposed to move another one this does this seems to be a common thing to replace too because you can add tensioners to keep the belts nice and tight and the last thing this is it and then we'll be done Ugh. oh that didn't sound good oh power supply duh Well, that doesn't sound good at all. There's something moving around in there. Hear it? Oh, I can see one of the screws came out. I bet there's a screw in there. Great. Fantastic. But anyway, this is where you hook all the power up to. This is pretty crappy. Um, probably a good thing to replace, and which I probably will. I haven't got one yet. But uh, I really don't want to take this apart because there is some scary stuff in here that can hurt you. So uh, we'll see. But that's exactly what it is. You can see there's two screws, two posts that are missing. So I bet they fell back in there and are rattling around. So, oh well, something I can take care of. Uh, but that's it. That's all to the printer. And the next few videos, I plan step one, we're going to check the electronics so I'll make a video just on that and then we'll start putting it together so if you like what you saw hit the subscribe button thank you very much